We have some exciting baseball on deck for us. It'll be the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. It's a Sunday afternoon. Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with Steve Phillips and John Crook. I'm Gary Thorne. Action coming. And our starting pitcher for Baltimore, Steve, uh, as he uh, approaches the Cincinnati lineup, what's the key? Uh, the scouting report against this lineup is if you execute your pitches, hit your spots, keep the ball down on the zone, you can shut them down. And with a quality left hander like this on the mound, he shouldn't have too much difficulty. We've got a moment to check out that lineup for the Reds. Okay, this is what I call a circular lineup. Stars really throughout the lineup, they're all the same. They hit for average, hit for power, drive in runs, really star studded throughout. Concepcion at the plate. Cincinnati coming off a win last night. A good start winning games one and two of this three game set against Baltimore. Towards the middle. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. Now we'll show you how the Orioles are lined up around the field. And something to look forward to this Tuesday. We'll see Adrian Gonzalez and the San Diego Padres. They'll be hosting the Kansas City Royals. We hope you'll be there. Things get underway at 10 Eastern. A chance to watch two good teams match. up in that one Gary I'm lo really looking forward to it one of the best batting averages in the league and the first pitch ball oh, that one in the dirt good play by the catcher kept it in front of him One zero on the way. Strike Called strike on the outside corner. And it's one and one. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Here's the one one. Hit in the air to left center. The catch is made. And time for the offensive lineup. Here's a look at what Buck Showalter's done. That's a prodigious lineup right here. Names that everybody recognizes. A lot of threats in this lineup and no breaks for the opposing pitcher. We got a chance to check out the Reds here. Let's look at their defense. He's the best base stealer leading the ball club in steals. Here's the pitch. Ball. First pitch is a sinker, too low, 1 0. He's the guy on this team that they go to. If they need the stolen base, he's the man. Ball. Inside with the fastball, 2 0. They had two hits in the game last night, looking to add to that today and trying to contribute to his club success. Now the 2 0. And he takes a fastball for a strike, 2 and 1. Here's the 2 1. 2 1 pitch, a sinker taken for a called strike 2. You throw the sinker ball to get the ground ball out. He got the called strike right there. If they swing, he's going to get his share of ground balls. Ball Fastball three. well off the mark, and it's full three and two. 
Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the breaker. One down. That's a hard-fighting curveball right there with great break. Awfully tough to put in play. Swung right through it. Let's have a look at the Central Division race brought to you by State Farm with the All-Star break just around the corner now. It's the Cubs in first. Pirates in second place. In the third spot, it's the Reds. Brewers in fourth place. Cardinals in the fifth position and wrapping up the list the Astros struck out swinging last time and on third two outs first pitch Ball. just missed with the fastball 1-0 oh. well that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand kept it just a little bit inside though tough pitch to hit good job by the hitter to lay off 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. On the way. Comes back with one in there at the knees, and it's 2-1. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. Comes set. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Fouled away. Oh. Hit hard to second. Jennings. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. Nobody's put one up yet here in Baltimore. Gotta love the city of Baltimore. Or in Oriole Park. What a great place to watch a game and a day game. Runners at second and third and two down. And the first pitch. He swings now and really hit that. And that's out number three. First sign of life here, batting-wise, fourth inning. Since he has the lead, one to nothing. Dealer gets a turn here. And uh, at the plate, one of the top. 0 for 1 this time. Two outs, space is empty. Now the first pitch. First pitch inside with a fastball, ball one. Okay, they haven't scored or gotten a hit, but we're in the fourth inning right now. They've got to really reconsider their approach at the plate as we move through the lineup the second time around. Strike one. one pitch, a sinker in there, one and one. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. One one pitch. Strike one two. one delivery. A fastball taken for a strike. One and two. One two pitch coming. Hot shot towards the hole. Now with two down, and you've got a man on board. Here's what Cincinnati has lined up. Baltimore series ends today. And they'll be taking on the Rays, led by MVP, maybe, Evan Longoria. It'll be a three-game series. And they bring in a club they need to settle the score with, the Cleveland Indians. Always a marvel to watch. You just know the opportunity for him to put the ball in play is there anytime he's at the plate. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. 
And with two down and a big RBI producer at the plate, here you're not going to give him the chance to bring those runs in. Well, two outs, first base open. This is good strategy. Don't play with fire. Now the State Farm leaderboard staff's responsible for the fewest free passes in the league. The Indians number one, the Red Sox second, in third the Twins, fourth the Angels, and for the Orioles, they are fifth. As you can see, they don't like to walk anybody. They like to make the other team try to beat them rather than beating themselves. Throw the ball over the plate and dare them to put it in play. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Here's the delivery. Here's a sinker that misses. One and one. Well, he's, he's over the 80 pitch mark right now at this point in the game. And you know that pitching coach is keeping a close eye on him to see if he tires. The 1-1 one, one now. Two. Swing and a miss on the sinker. And it's 1-2. and two. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down in the zone is meant to do. The 1-2 is a fastball inside. 2-2. Two and two. Well, the job of the pitcher is to make the hitter as uncomfortable as he can. You throw a four-seam fastball up and in around someone's chest, it'll make you uncomfortable. He delivers. Full count. Gave him a fastball that time, but it's outside. Three and two. Full count pitch. And he missed ball four. That's going to load the bases. Well, you know, the pitcher's really tired right now, and you have to think that his confidence is a little bit shaken. That long at bat right there, he had a chance to put the hitter away, and now he has to go from the stretch to try to keep this inning from getting out of hand. Two outs, bases loaded. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch, way out of the zone, ball one. Now, Gary, that was his third walk in this game, but he's been able to pitch around his base runners and not give up any runs. The 1-0 now. And he looks at a sinker in there, one and one. And Steve, with the walks in the ballgame, even though there aren't many, the trouble is he doesn't have anything to work with here. Well, listen, you got to manage your base runners. You get guys on there, pitch around it, make your pitches when you need to, and that's what he's done. Hit hard on the ground towards third. And Throws to first in time. That's three down. So they pick up one hit in the inning, fail to score despite leaving the bases loaded. Up next, Orioles. Middle of the lineup coming along. And welcome to those of you just who... Tuning in, 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. They've not had the struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. Here's the pitch. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Well, you watch how the hitter reacted to that. He had thoughts about chasing that pitch, but at the last second decided to lay off of it. And he looks at a changeup in there, 1-1. One and one. He just plain old fooled him right there. He must have been looking for something else. Hit his spot perfectly with that change. Swings at that 1-1 pitch. Fastball by him. Strike two. Some guys throw in. Some guys pitch in. He pitched in right there to get the strike. Now let's see if he pitches away. He swings and lines this one softly towards the left side. That's down. Runner could come home. And a second run is in. Cincinnati continuing their production. This might be the end of the line. 
for him now. Three straight hits. He looks exhausted out there right now. Struck out swinging his last time up. Two men on and two men out. And here's the first one. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Well, he's really only held him to two hits so far today, Gary. So he's been on top of his game out there. He's made it look easy. And, you know, it could possibly be a day the bullpen doesn't have to get used and can get some rest. Pitch on the way. One and one. A sinker misses. One and one. Well, his pitch count right now is up in triple digits, over 100 pitches. He could be running on fumes right now. The pitching coach, though, is going to have to keep an eye and just to see if he has that same movement on his pitches as he had earlier in the game. If he doesn't, you better go get him. Swung on, hit well, out there to deep left center field, back of the wall. Big three-run homer. Now they're only one run behind. A three-run homer. You see the WPA graph. That one did some damage. Doesn't matter how far you hit him as long as you hit him over the wall. It just cleared, but it's still a homer. And tomorrow in the box score, it'll look like a 500-foot drive. And the manager is happy as can be. The Orioles' attack has been really relentless here. They put so much pressure on the opposing pitcher. Each at bat, critical now for Baltimore. And he needs to come through here with two down. Infield got to play back in this situation and get the out at the easiest base. Bases are loaded with two down. Here's the first pick. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And it gets down. And they can't cut it off for the roll to the wall. And it's tied up. The time run crosses the plate. And he scores. And the tie is broken. They take the lead. So, two runs in on that hit. Let's take a look now at the play and how it affected the win expectancy goal. Well, they need a big out right here, Jeremy. Giving up some runs in this inning. They need to get outs right now just, again, to show that they can get them. But he's trying to do it the plate here in the last inning is get this ball game tied up. Now, Gary, the key is to not let him get on base. Clearly, he doesn't want to give up a home run. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. Well, a big two-out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. Roche up at the plate. Well, they needed a little extra speed out there to cover the bases, potentially steal a base. Let's see if this added speed pays off. He had a two-run single in his last appearance. A runner on first with two outs. First pitch on the way. Ball one. Myers, too far outside. That's a ball. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. At the belt, the 1 0. Ball two. Down and away for ball two. And the 2-0 pitch is a fastball low, 3-0. Well, that fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Right fastball. One. He's taking all the way, 3-1. A pretty good pitch to hit right there. He takes it for a strike. Clearly, he didn't have the green light.
And that misses. Ball four. The potential tying run in scoring position. He went with a fastball. Three ball count, which is what you want to do most often. He just couldn't throw a strike. Well, this is a big at bat coming right now. In a... Now, Gary, Baltimore's able to win this one in very close game. They stepped up when they needed to in critical situations and got the job done. As we present our player of the game award. Well, you know, Gary, anytime you can put the ball in play, you have a great opportunity to get hits and great things happen. And that's what happened today. The pitcher couldn't find a way to put him away. That's why he got those three big hits. And when you can do that, good things are going to happen for your team. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. Thanks for being with us today. We hope you've enjoyed 2K Sports Major League Baseball. We wrap it up. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you soon.